Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. So uh, as I mentioned in the previous video that in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy React app on uh, Netify. So um, right now, as you can see, this is the uh, homepage official website of the Netify and uh, I have opened this as well. So I just installed a new React application and host all of the source code onto um, the, my, my GitHub account. As you can see here, just four minutes ago, and I have already run it on my local as well. So right now, the first step is to sign up uh, for a new account. And when I click on this link, I can actually choose one of the options here. So I'm going to go with the GitHub itself. And I can basically just click on the authorize Netlify. five. And here you can see that it actually linked to my um, GitHub account. So this is my username and this is the welcome screen saying it's the free auth um, automatic uh, HTTPS. So it's fr uh, for the SSL is for free and also never leave um, the terminal. All right, so here, as you can see, this is the blank um, page on the um, home page here. So what I can actually do right now, I can just click on the new site from Git. And first, um, I want to do the uh, continuous development. So whenever that I push a new code, it will automatically uh, make an update on the website using the Nelly 5. So uh, I choose the GitHub right here, and then it's going to link to my GitHub account and says authorize and it redirect me to a new one which is right here so um, right now it going to install the Nelly 5 onto uh, either, uh, all of my repositories or I can actually choose um, the specific one so right now I'm going to just choose one and I just um, create a new one it's called um, react uh, Nelly 5 and then I can just click on the install button and it asks me to confirm my password. All right, so now the first step's done. And now let's go with the uh, second steps. So basically the second step is that I can just click on my repository and going to link to a new one. And this is just the name. And um, the branch is uh, the master branch. I only have one. And here it automatically detect the build command and also the publish the uh, directory as well. So uh, we can actually uh, run the npm run build. It's going to create like a folder that contain all of the uh, information that can be used to run on the Nelly 5 uh, or any other um, hosting server as well. So this is the command to uh, build a build folder for a React application and um, this is so advanced. We are not going to do with these things. And next is to click on the deploy site. All right, so now the site um, deploy in progress. So uh, wait just uh, a minute and we see what's uh, next. And now let's just have a quick look right here. So it says production deploy, uh, deploy review, and um, right here the steps to deploy your site. It's still deploying right now, and um, busy. It says busy uh, building deploying the site to the uh, CND, and um, we can actually uh, buy our own custom domain as well. So let's say um, I can buy a new one. Hongli uh, youtube.com something and uh, if not we can actually use free one from the uh, Netlify itself it's going to be like generated a random uh, link so that we can actually use it and share it for uh, our user as well so next one here is secure site with HTTPS and um, it automatically uh, secure with the let's uh, decrypt certificate so we don't need to worry about like buying all of these things all right, so now um, I think that basically it is quite uh, fast. And here we got this link. This is the uh, random generated link for us. So here you go. It's quite fast. 
and I can actually use this link and of course I will put it in my uh, video description uh, so uh, you guys can click on this and see what the result is and um, right here I don't need to worry about this it's automatically doing saying the secure uh, HTTPS already so that's fine and um, you can see that when I try to install like a new React application and then try to push it, I don't need to do any uh, kind of uh, complicated configuration. But in case if you are using like a uh, login or locked out and also with some of the going to other pages that going to be, you need to do some uh, configuration for that as well. Uh, so for this, this is just like the basic and I just uh, installed it from scratch. So I don't need to do any of those configurations. And this it's just as simple as this. So now um, what I'm going to do, I try to uh, edit this text uh, to something else and then see what it changed on this uh, website. So what I'm doing right now is called uh, continuous development. All right, so now let me just add a new paragraph here saying deploy react on netly 5 and then save it now let's go back you can see that the change is uh, made right here so this is running on my local machine and now what I need to do I just need to push that uh, code and um, I'm going to push it on the github so now what I can do just click this and then um, edit text uh, just basic as this and um, right now I'm going to push it on my react uh, github repository so now it's already push so let's see some change here so you can see um, 20 seconds ago and now let me refresh this and see what the result is All right, here you go. So um, it takes like as a matter of seconds. I don't need to uh, wait too long. I just push it and it just pick that uh, changes and it made um, on this website already. So it's quite fast. So here you go. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. And if you have any question about deploying this, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and see you guys in the next video.